Next dish, chimichurri, and uh, we're going to pan fry some beautiful um, sirloin steaks, which also are uh, referred to as porterhouse steaks, as the actual cut. Gonna grab a little bit of salt. Now, if you get the time, I would salt them probably 10, 15 minutes ahead of time if you could. Okay. And what that does, it actually dries out the surface um, and it will give it a much better crust. So turn that over both sides and be quite liberal. So hot pan always, you can use a lighter olive oil or a grapeseed oil. You're gonna let that heat up and wait. In the meantime, to make the chimichurri sauce, we're just gonna add some garlic, a little bit of French shallot, so some cumin, and we're gonna put lots of uh, herbs in there. Now, before I do that, this is hot. We don't want it to boil, um, or what we call boil. We don't want it, the meat to actually release a little bit of its own liquid and then start to boil in it. So you've got to have that pan really hot all the time. I'm always getting asked, how do you cook the perfect steak? And everyone's got a different answer. Um, yeah, I've been curious with you coming, Matt, and knowing you were cooking this dish, what is your kind of top three tips for cooking yeah. the perfect steak? Because this is what you're known for, beef, yeah. right? Hot pan always. Yeah. So you get that beautiful sear on it. Um, don't play with it too much. You don't need to turn it a million times. So you really want to sort of get a nice sort of seal on it, colour on it, you turn it over. Seasoning is really important. So many times you go and have a steak and it doesn't have enough seasoning on it. And all, always resting it. Yeah. You know, you need to rest your meat. So, Georgia, as you can see, the steak here's got nice colour and you can see that fat's rendering a little bit. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to turn them over now. While that's going there, I'm going to make the chimichurri. So we've got some uh, nice fresh parsley. There's a little bit of stalk in there, but not too much. Same with the coriander. And what I'd normally do with basil, I grab the basil and I actually puree it. I put a little bit of oil over it. Oh, so I've cool. always got pureed basil in my, in my fridge. And what, what do you use that for? I use it for pestos, um, you know, other different dressings. I'm going to add some salt and some pepper. And we're going to add lots of olive oil. Now, if you find olive oil is too strong and um, got too much flavour, you can always add a, a, a neutral oil, like a little bit of um, grapeseed oil. All right, so we're just going to blitz this. Really straightforward. I'm just going to pour that into the container. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of butter. It'll just start to caramelise and burn into burnoisette. And then I'm just going to baste the meat in the brown butter. I'm going to take those steaks out. To me, they're cooked about medium red. So I'm just going to add a couple of tablespoons of the red wine vinegar. Now, how about I serve one normal, like that, and the other one, I might just cut it into a couple of pieces. And then just put that on the plate like that. And then our chimichurri, we're just going to drizzle it over the top. There you go, Georgia. There's our two beef dishes. Sustainably raised in the pristine environment of Western Australia, Harvey Beef is your go-to for premium cuts. These recipes are easy to cook, as you've seen today, and delicious to serve up at home. Matt, it's been awesome to have you here with us today. Thank you so much for your time. Absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me.